bunch of questions after our last conversation with Nahida. Paimo was ready to ask her a million more questions, but didn't want to seem too pushy. Like, about these descenders. So, does that just mean people like you who come traveling to Tevat from someplace else? And as for your sister... Whew, so many questions. Let's go find Nahida and see what else we can find out. Next. I finally got to catch like one to of these. Liu Shut up, Johnny. Spots. I have a few references. <laughs> okay, so that was the fireman line that somehow is kind of hit or miss when I got to it. Called it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new video. Three point T is heal, and so scarmot. Man, I really hate the fact that he's now playable. I mean, I'm really not a fan when you turn the bad guys into playable. Consider that we have to forget what he did beforehand. And I'm not sure this outcome quest is gonna redeem him that much. He's still gonna be a jackass. And of course you have to have Ito, because you have to have the two most annoying characters in this game for me. I almost went. Oh, don't tell me I need to. Oh, no, please, no, no. I don't want to look for bugs again. Please, no. Why is the bugs? Does. Uh, I'm really tired of level up characters. I'm already getting bored. But I'm gonna do a pull just for her. Because her team is a banger. I'm still vibing. Vibing on that demo okay we have this that is a alton quest and this i gonna do off screen but hey guys if i have my internet solve i mean you know stable net that you know what i can actually maybe license this maybe not so if i gonna steam this but I just reached the ending of the Algon Quest to edit out. I barely start Nahidas, and I have to put that aside. Good thing I actually put that aside in the other folder. But yeah, so this is gonna be off screen. This is gonna be the main thing. This is gonna be off screen. But before we do all that, I gonna hope I get. Because to be honest, what i have to choose between a granny that i have to level up or she won ito or maybe i get a chichi or tainai to be honest i really wish that but this is a new character and has per tradition i have to pull at least once please be once talking about it has to do with the balladeer doesn't it okay then even if we did know something about it we probably couldn't share it with them huh after all we kicked his butt and got him locked up information about people like that is usually super confidential isn't it yeah good point you actually point that out the Valadir kind of has a history, not a good one. Although sad, still a mess was mess up one. So again, I'm not sure it's gonna be more annoying or more was that Ito. And he is in a battle list, so you cannot do was that Ito. If you ask Paimon, Akaba should just pick a different topic. There must be as many essay topics as there are trees in the forest. There's no point in... <laughs> what is he doing up? 
Okay, sorry for scaring you, but what is he doing out? Hey, did you see that? He literally just went by over there. It looked like... like... The Balladeer! No, it can't have been. He got locked up. Oh, quick, let's catch up and see. Traveler, Paimon, there you are. Nahida, why you let him go? Nahida, bad news. We just saw the balladeer strolling around in public. Did he escape or? Ah, it's him! Really? He's just. Don't tell me he's somehow out because of Nahida did something to him, but really, you just gonna let him out just to stroll around? Again, I'm really not a fan of him already. Hmm. Sure enough, you're here. Yeah, hello to you too, Jackass. Hey! What are you doing in the sanctuary of Saristana? Aren't you supposed to be locked up? I know you must have a lot of questions. Please, allow me to explain. Nahida, I know we've been through a lot, but you better have the best explanation for him. And I think this is gonna be like the worst part of this because the redemption for Sky is because of Nahida, and who can be mad on Nahida considering what, what she been through? So this is kind of sealed in over the fact that Sky has to be redeemed. It was my idea to set the Balladeer free. We made a deal, and he's gonna do some investigation in Ermin Soul for me. See you are now. You gonna let him close to the tree? That if anything happens to the tree, the war's gonna end. Nahida, are you sure you're actually a genius and not a childish one? A deal? Huh. You sure you trust this guy? No one should trust him. What did you expect? Why do you think Sumero would keep me around otherwise? Or maybe killing me is all you can think about. I don't know why, but again, I'm not too much fan of turning the characters good, the evil characters good to be playable. And I'm gonna say it, the fact that they promote him, like they drop the drippy market a day before the previous update was kind of a spoiler, like, at least let, maybe this was better to keep for the next update that keep, rest this out. This update could have been the cards again. Oh yeah, this update is gonna have the Halloween event. But if that's the case, why haven't you done it already? Don't flatter yourself. It was... Nahida said there's still some mysteries in you to figure out. So you better spill up any secrets than a Patui you know. Ah, so if it were up to you, you'd finish the job? Guess I had you all wrong. There I was thinking you were just getting cold feet. Again, guys. What do you see in him? He's the bad guy. Mm, well, that escalated quickly. Not a good start. Could I ask you all to please calm down? But Paimon's worried about you, Nahida. Don't let him trick you. <laughs> it's not every day you see people questioning the God of Wisdom's judgment. Just when you think you've seen it all. You, sir. Don't you dare try to drive a wedge between us! As long as the terms are reasonable, I don't think there's a problem in making a deal. Even with the Balladeer. Well, I for one have no reason to doubt you. Considering you even struck a deal with the doctor. Yes, one in which I gained valuable information. You'll come to understand more about that in the fullness of time. The Balladeer's power was all but completely spent after your battle. He's no longer strong enough to be a strategic threat to us. That puts him in quite a precarious position. 
So now he's just a normal puppet. Again, he can still hurt us if he wants. Plus, he's a former harbinger with knowledge of many of the Fatui's sensitive secrets. Being stuck here in Sumeru could make him a sitting duck, depending on how the Fatui plan to respond. Okay, so who's gonna be the good cop, bad cop? The man is a really want to be the bad cop, and you're gonna be the good one. Wait a second, former? You mean, he's not a harbinger anymore? Now all before what, that, because again, this is kind of a plot hole that, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna ask Reddit, later because this is something that really bugs me because what we what i remember for the event with the purple doll with the samurai doll is that the harbinger kind of scaramouche fled the scene and didn't return to the fatui so kind of that means he was betrayed huh? but again i'm not sure what to think of this i take no pleasure in saying this but it seems as if the doctor had no intention of welcoming back a loser, so... Really? This is gonna be the experience? Again, the habits are hate each other. We kinda knew that. Huh? Sometimes it's you using them. Other times, it's them using you. Most human relationships are this way. Certainly all the stable ones are. That's how it was between me and the Fatui, and also between each of the Harbingers. Can we just read his mind and keep him locked up? Come on, Ahida, you can control people from a distance, right? So as long as you have some value to offer, nobody will ever abandon you. But after recent events, even I have to admit that I'm not worth quite what I used to be. <laughs> well, if the Fatui are going to reevaluate my utility, I need to have a backup plan for myself. As we discussed, I don't like causing harm to living beings, and you said you need protection. So, why not join forces with us? I think these two have made their objection to that idea fairly clear, don't you? And they're your friends, so I guess you'll be siding with them. Then let's put that discussion to the side for now. We still have time. Again, I worry that this is gonna be like for the old Harbinger that's gonna be playable. And I bet the hot ones is gonna be like the one that gives priority. I really don't like this situation because again, Scam once she's a villain, not the a, a tragic character. I mean, he's kind of is, but in the same time, he chose this life. There's a difference when somebody is used as, you know, corrupted or something like that, and one that just accepted. I really don't know what to say. And again, I mean, we're still in the start. Today can be a trial run. Where we go from here will depend on how well we manage to cooperate today. All right. Then I'll do what we agreed. Good. Go now, and keep in touch. Nahida, are you... Are you serious about Yes. I have my reasons for this decision. In fact, I'm largely doing it for your benefit. Thanks, Nahida, that I really don't like to have the Baladil in my team. That's me. I tried and I didn't get him. But can you give me Farzan instead? Yes. As I told you once before, there's information about your twin in Ermin Soul. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's the whole reason we came to see you today. So, you have an update on that? And please be something of substance and not oh. just a little tease to hope that we get in front end. Because I think by now we have to actually accelerate the, you know, the scale. No more little bits of load. Mm-hmm. You may remember me mentioning that the Fatui had not included your twin's details in the Descender category. This is an extremely important point. It's possible that the Fatui have other information that even I don't know about. 
And since the Balladeer used to be one of them, he'll be better acquainted with this information than I am. He was granted the power to connect with Erminsoul when he almost became the god of a new era. Even though he no longer has the Gnosis, some traces of its power remain in him. He can still connect. The amount of information in Erminsoul is vast beyond description. Sifting through all of it without knowing what to look for would take too long, even for me. So wait, do the Baladir actually knows about our sister? And is the vision the... Because to me, I, I kind of think the Jester, you know, if you remember that trailer, was named Jester or something? He's like the leader and I feel he's a Kanyan too. And Kanye I'll turn into a beast monsters. Maybe I should not go in details because me trying to explain in details is really wrong. So I asked the Balladeer to search in Erminsoul for any information about the Descenders. He's more familiar with this kind of information and should be able to find it more quickly. Exactly! Or what if... Oh, Paimon just doesn't trust him! He's treated us as enemies every time we run into him! I understand. But sometimes, everything is dictated by which side you're on. How things will go in the future depends on what information he brings back. And Traveler, I know what your heart desires most of all. Our minds have connected several times before. There is a corner of your heart reserved for an intense longing. A feeling of being all alone in the dark, searching for the one candle whose light still burns. As Sumeru's deity, it is my responsibility to be on guard against the Balladeer. But as someone who counts you as a friend, I want to do something for you. If this deal with the Balladeer can give you the answers you've been longing to find, then it's worth it. It's my pleasure, really. You're Sumeru's hero. You've more than earned it. Hmm... Paimon's still worried about this idea. Is there anything we can do to help? I was going to contact you about that, but then you suddenly showed up on your own accord. It seems like we have a telepathic connection. In fact, I was going to ask you to supervise the Balladeer on my behalf while he carries out the task I assigned. Even though he only has a fraction of his full power left, that's still a fraction of a former Harbinger. If you could accompany him, it would put my mind at ease. Of course, I'll be there to help guide you through Ermansoul from the outside. Great, thank you. Prepare yourselves. I'm going to transport you into Ermansoul. Look at that. Hot on my heels. You know, you didn't have to cut your catch up short just to keep me company. Oh, but I guess you panicked when you realized that I might enter Ermin's soul ahead of you. Shut your beak, Jailbird! No way a prisoner gets to be so smug! I understand that prisoners have to put up with harassment from the guards, but right now, I'm on temporary release. So maybe you should think about backing off a little. And I'm gonna say because I think I'm gonna say this too many times. But why do you like him, guys? Again? He's so jerk to anything. Sounds like a successful rendezvous. I need to be quite clear about something. In a few moments, you'll be entering into the innermost region of Ermansoul. It is an environment like no other, and the most important place in all of Sumeru. Unlike anywhere else, Ermansoul's inner region consists exclusively of torrents of information. You must put aside your differences and be extremely careful as you navigate your way through. I know there are many grievances between you, on both sides, but it is essential that you remain calm after entry. 
This is as much for your own safety as anything else. Fine. Let's call it truce. But only until this mission's over. Let's cut each other a little slack, shall we? We are gonna be traveling together after all. Per my agreement with Lesser Lord Kusanali, I'll be at the front. It's my job to lead the way and get rid of any obstacles in our path. All you have to do is keep your pretty eyes open and try not to fall behind. <laughs> you sure are confident. Paimon will give you that. You make it sound like you're even more experienced at adventuring than us. If there are no further objections, I suggest we get going. Or did you need some time to mentally prepare yourselves? Ew! Ugh, the snark on this guy! It's unbearable! <sighs> we can start now. Ermin Soul Access Grant. Initiating connection procedure. Is this a small sapling? Oh, darn it! Come on, let's catch up with him! Wow! So this is the inside of Ermensoul. Ooh! Paimon's never seen anything like this. And it feels like a sacred place. I don't know why, but I feel like Genshi is someone in a way of PC to say. Like, he has connection and I think even when Nahida said torrent, torrent information. Ermin's soul is closely intertwined with the entirety of Tavat. Every bit of information flowing here means something. Pick your jaws up off the floor. It's time to go. Why is it that Paimon just wants to do the opposite of everything he says? Hmm. <sighs> Lesser Lord Kusanali, we will now proceed to the heart of Ermensoul. Can you still sense where the heart of Ermensoul is? Yes. Permission to begin searching for information there? Permission granted. Go ahead. Let's go. Stay close. Don't go running off. Hey, so... Say we did go running off in here. What would happen? <laughs> Smirking at. I was just imagining the look on your travel companion's face if you went and got lost. Anything's possible in here. You can't rule anything out. So if you want to stay safe, your best option is to stick close to me. things have spread out. Those are all packets of information from inside Ermensoul. Be careful not to touch them. It looks the same in every direction. about getting lost. Huh. What do you know? He was actually telling the truth. <sighs> is he mocking me again? Uh, what is it this time? There's a time and a place to lie, but this definitely isn't it. So why don't you relax your guard a little? <laughs> 